Look into these eyes. These beautiful, yet bloodshot, ravaged eyes. If they look tired, it's because they are. I was up tossing and turning all night long, stressing, worrying, probably just like you, over which one is better, the KG805G or the GMRS V1. So I'm going to answer that question so that we can all sleep better at night and not look like this anymore. Now, I'm not going to waste your time like so many other YouTube channels do. I know you're probably tired from all the stress of worrying about which one of these two radios is better. I know you've got more important things to do, like watching other YouTube and TikTok videos, but I'm not going to waste your time with a stupid intro or music or teaching you how the subscribe button works or talking about the join button. I wouldn't do that. I would never waste your time in such a frivolous manner. But first, allow me to waste just a little bit of your time and answer a very common question that I see posted on my YouTube videos. And that is, why don't you display the like counts of your videos? Your videos must really suck if you're afraid to show the like counts. My answer to that question is another question. So why would you give a shit? Do you need other people to tell you if you like a video or not? Why do you care what the like counts are? Either you like the video or you don't like the video. If you don't like my videos, don't watch them. If you do like it, clicking the thumbs up would be nice. But you should not have to rely on others to decide if you like something or not. Whether, whether you like it or not comes from in here. And only you can decide. It's a personal choice. So which is better? The Ocean KG805G GMRS radio or the BTEC GMRS V1 GMRS radio. Now I'm not going to string it out. If better to you means less dollars, get the GMRS V1. If better to you means better quality, simplicity, Get the KG805G. That's it. Thank you for watching. But if you actually want to learn some of the differences and make an informed decision so that you really can decide what's better for you, then keep watching. Both radios are GMRS FCC Part 95 E compliant GMRS repeater capable radios. Both require a GMRS license to transmit on. You can listen to whatever you want on either, but if you're going to transmit on either one, you must have a GMRS license. If you don't already have your GMRS license, there's a link right there. I'll take you to my website, show you step by step every button to push and every thing to do to get your GMRS license. There's no test. You just pay for it, buy it, just like a fishing license. And then after you buy your GMRS license, you then have the permission of the FCC to use our free radio waves. Now I will point out, as I've done in my previous videos, I have used both of these radios extensively. As a matter of fact, if you look closely at my GMRS V1, you'll see that it's all scuffed and scratched up. I don't keep my radios in a glass case on display in the basement. I use my radios. So all these comparisons that I'm going to make are based on me actually using them, both of them, for quite a while when I'm out off-roading and hiking and doing those manly, adventurous things. I'm not going to go over every spec and every specification and every little propeller head detail. I'm going to go over the things that matter to me and that I think may matter to you, my favorite viewer. The BTEC GMRS V1 costs $55. The Ocean KG805G costs $99. I will have affiliate links below to each radio. And if you follow either of those links, you can either purchase it or look more at the specifications and the things that I don't bother going over. Now, I am reading from my notes because God forbid I get something wrong and then I've got to delete 100 comments from pinheads making comments to correct me. So forgive me if I look down at my notes. The GMRS V1 receives has a receiving range from 136 megahertz to 175 megahertz and then 400 to 520 megahertz the ocean kg805g has a receiving range of 400 to 470 megahertz what that means is you can listen to channels in that frequency range so with the gmrs v1 you can listen to a wider range you can scan a wider range of frequencies some ham frequencies other vhf frequencies the KG805G has a shorter or smaller range that you can scan. 
both have all of the regular 22 GMRS channels and eight repeater channels, but you can scan other frequencies with both radios. GMRS V1 is two watts maximum output. KG805G, five watts maximum output. Now that will make a difference in your transmitting range, but not a huge difference. Battery will probably last longer because this one's only transmitting at two watts. This one's gonna suck it down a little bit harder because it's sucking at five watts. GMRS V1 is a system on a chip. That means the whole radio is on one little chip. KG805G is a super heterodyne circuit, which is more of a classic high quality radio circuit that you'll find in higher quality Yasus and Kenwoods and so on. This is gonna receive better, it's gonna be more sensitive, it's gonna transmit better, and most importantly, because of that super heterodyne circuitry, the squelch actually works. It's more sensitive, it actually functions, whereas squelch isn't so great on the GMRS V1. The screen on the GMRS V1 is a dual line screen. It has dual watch and scan so that you can scan or listen to two frequencies or two sets of frequencies at a time. The screen on the KG805G is much simpler and is a single line display only. It does not have dual scan or dual watch. Both have three color displays and you can program them so that when you receive the screen is one color and when you transmit it's another color and once sitting there doing nothing it's a third color. The GMRS V1 has a LED flashlight, the KG805G does not. GMRS V1 is uh, power output switchable, so you can switch between high and low. The KG805 does not allow you to switch between high and low. It automatically switches based on the channel that you're using. Some channels you can only transmit at certain lower powers and others at full five watts. The radio does that automatically. You do not have the option to decide your power output. 1800 milliamp hour battery. 1700 milliamp hour battery. Both receive FM commercial radio. The GMRS V1 allows you to store 98 channels. So that frequency range that I mentioned, 136 to 175 megahertz and 400 to 520 megahertz, you can store any frequency in those ranges in a channel and scan through them. The uh, KG805G stores 128 channels, but the list of frequencies that you can store is smaller with the 400 to 470 megahertz only. Storing channels, in the V1, you can do through software like Chirp or directly on the keypad, which makes it more complicated. It, it kind of it does more, so it's more stuff to have to figure out how to do. KG805 has no keypad. It's a much simpler interface. And to program those channels, you need to do that through the Ocean software. Some say that you can also program the 805G with Chirp. I've never got it to work. Some people have got it to work. That's a Chirp issue. That's not a Ocean issue. Both have all the common CTCSS, DCS, privacy tones, and repeater tones. GMRS V1, you can scan and listen to NOAA channels. KG805G, no NOAA channels. GMRS V1 has no IP rating, meaning it's not dust proof, it's not moisture proof, can't let it get moist at all. KG805G has an IP55 rating, completely dust proof, moisture proof, lightly waterproof, so it's more rugged. Don't have to worry about it being destroyed if, a, if it gets dusty or if it's raining outside. Eight ounces, 8.6 ounces, pretty much the same. Half an ounce, I can't even feel the difference. The KG805G has a strength meter so that it indicates how powerful you're receiving a signal and also shows the relative uh, power output. JMRS V1 has no such thing. So those are the, the specs, the things that each one does and does not or can and cannot do. So which one is better? Well, again, if all you care about is less dollars out of your pocket, get this one. If you want quality, get this one. It really boils down to five watt output versus two watt output. And that might mean you can talk a little bit further on this one. Probably more likely means the battery will last a little longer in this one. Super heterodyne circuitry, better quality, better receiving, better transmitting versus inexpensive, cheap Chinese system on a chip. Now they're both made in China. This is a better quality circuit and circuitry than the cheap little entire radio on a chip. Less rugged. Don't you dare think about going out in the dust or getting it moist, more rugged, IP55 rated, dustproof, lightly waterproof, more rugged, more complex, more things going on. Very simple, very simple interface, limited, but very simple. That's it. Now you have to decide. I can't tell you which is better. You have to decide which one is better is a personal choice that only you can make. If you have any questions, 
If I missed anything or if I got something wrong, leave a comment below. As always, dickhead comments, stupid opinions, answering questions that nobody cares about, or just general dickheadedness. Those comments will be pinned to the top for everybody to enjoy and laugh at. So think twice before leaving a stupid comment. There are no stupid questions. There are stupid questions, but I will answer the stupid questions. It's the dickhead comments that we're going to pin and make fun of. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you on the